Hi everyone, today's video we're going to be making a K cup octagon holder thingy on a lazy Susan. You want to see how I did it? Stick around. Just a real quick disclaimer I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. I do things a little different than a lot of people. I don't have plans, I emulate what I see on things I want to make because I have a need. I don't sell things, I don't do plans, I'm just here to have fun share how I do things. This is not how to do it, but how I do it. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get something out of it. If you learn something, great. If you find something you want to do, that's awesome too. So hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. First, we want to lower the blade just through the cut of the wood. There's no exact measurement you can do to this. You can make it your own. I'm just going with two and a half. Have our ambrosia maple cut at two and a quarter inches in width and we have our purple heart cut in one quarter inch so what we're going to do is lay these out and then we're going to insert two pieces of each strip purple heart on the outside of the ambrosia maple kind of doing something like that will give us a two and a half inch wide profile. The thickness on it really only needs to be about three eighths or five eighths of an inch, depending on whatever you want to do there. It don't need to be this thick. So what we'll do is glue these up. Once these are dry, then we'll run them through the planer. If you don't have a planer, you can resaw them on a bandsaw. If you don't have a bandsaw, you can resaw them on the table saw. But we're gonna have to trim this down just a little bit because that's a little bit too thick. Let's get them all glued up first. There's a huge misconception that you need a lot of clamping pressure to be able to glue up boards, and that's just simply not true. All you need, really, something for a small project like this is uh, some simple painter's tape would work just fine. So that's what I'm gonna use today. No, no clamps, no whole lot of clamping pressure. Just uh, some old fashioned tape. You don't want to use tape and you do have a clamp. There's always a rotation way you can do it. Just gluing them up, making sure you skip in between each one. That way you don't get glue on the inside of this. Skip this one, start over here. Seat the last one, just give it a little tight squeeze. Again, you don't need a whole lot of pressure, just enough. We need to find the center of this board, and if you're not good with fractions and you don't like rulers, an easy way to do it, this one's coming in about two and three fourths. So if you don't know half of two or three fourths, you could do an easy trick. Simply just tilt it till the top is flush and the 
bottom is flush with an even number. Right there is on three. We know half of three is one and a half. So one and a half is there. There's the middle of your board. Real simple trick. We're using the center line that we just drew to find the center with the bit. And we got a stop block here on the back so we can always have an accurate cut on all six pieces. The angle on your blade needs to be 22 and a half inches. The best way is a digital angle uh, get gauge here. Mine is dead, the battery's dead. So I've got the next best thing is the angle finder here. A uh, buddy of mine printed this out, Artisan Pirate, thank you so much. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. But this allows you to find the angle. So that 22 and a half inch angle, I've already got set with the blade that matches the angle of the bevel. So now we can cut our uh, bevels off the side. I just screw a board into the end of my workbench to be able to give me a nice flush area to be able to line everything up nice and flush. I've used blue painter tape to get the edges nice and crisp and tape them close together as possible, flush with the board that I put on through the workbench. So that all of that is flush. Then we can run some tape across and do a little trick. Now that we have it flipped over to the back side, all we have to do is glue it up on the inside edge and we'll just roll it up into its octagon shape for the final glue up. So while this dries, I want to glue up a top and a bottom for this. And I'm just going to use a piece of Purple Heart, uh, two and a half inches wide, Ambrosia Maple, two and a half inches wide. And we're going to glue it together to make it a template. And then we got this to cut out the circle. So let's glue it up. 